Oh, hello and good morning. Uh, my name is Joe Roberts. I uh, am a representative of the education group leaders team within the ICF Colorado. And we are delighted that um, this month on November 14th, we're going to be having a very special guest uh, speaker and, uh, and coach who's going to come in and help us to make the most of, of uh, the session. And uh, she's going to be talking to us about organizational relationship systems coaching which is a uh, fantastic topic, something that uh, I'm very keen and interested in, and I'm sure you will be too when you get there. So um, please let me introduce you to Chris, Chris Coward. Hi, good morning, Joe. Glad to be with you bright and early this morning. Yeah, it is. We're getting off to a good start on this, yes. uh, this morning. <laughs> it's always good to start the morning with an interview. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely right. Well, we're really feeling at our best. Uh, Give ourselves uh, a reason to shower. <laughs> exactly. Well, uh, hey, we just really keen to, to hear what you're going to be doing with us. So we thought we'd prepare this little, uh, kind of a short little introduction to it, and then we can put it on, on uh, Facebook for people are going to be watching it or on our base camp. So anyway, uh, Chris, um, how did you first get interested in this organizational relationship systems coaching? Well, so I think it was around 2011. I was attending an ICF Philadelphia meet, monthly mm -hmm. meeting, you know, kind of yeah. like ours. And two of my colleagues had just come back from taking the fundamentals of, of we call it ORSC for abbreviation. Uh -huh. So if you hear that, it's, it does stand for organization relationship systems coaching, which is a mouthful. And I just loved it. They did a few experiential exercises with our group. And I saw that it was powerful. And I saw that it could be a good tool to take away and use with uh, teams that I was working with, yeah. where I didn't, I didn't have something like this to use with them. I felt like I was drawing on kind of some one on one coaching principles to make that work. So I got hooked. And when the program came to my area, yeah. I took it. And then I, the fundamentals, which is only two days, I took it three more times wow. <laughs> after that as an assistant. <laughs> I, two of those times was in Denver, and they said, I was checking in with the facilitators, and they said, how, how come you're not, like, continuing on to do the rest of the, you know, there's, like, six more programs, and I keep taking the first one, and, and it's just timing. I, I will at some point. Yeah, very, very good. Well, we're so interested to hear uh, how that kind of differs from one-to-one -one coaching and maybe from what we do normally. Well, how would you explain that to someone? Sure, sure. Well, there is some overlap and with one-on-one -on -one coaching, and then there's also some differences. And I, I probably, I want to mention first, like where this material comes uh -huh. from. And because they, the creators of this are from, they created a company called the Center for Right Relationships, uh, also called, with an acronym, CRR. And Orsk came out of that. The two founders of this are, um, they're co-active coaches. And, and so that it borrows from co-active coaching, it borrows from general okay. systems theory, process work, organizational development, appreciative inquiry, positive psychology, wow. uh, empirical research, and then interest-based bargaining, it all on top of bringing in uh, co-active coaching principles. So. It brings in a lot, and so it's, it'll be interesting, right? So when we have our members participate um, on Thursday, November 14th, a lot of folks will be in their chairs and standing up going, oh, I've done something like this, or yes. this sounds like this, and they'll be absolutely right that, that it yeah. will have come from that, and yet mm -hmm. it creates its own thing in and of itself. Yeah. Uh, the whole goal of it really is to reveal the system to itself. So we're all part okay. of systems, right? And just like masterful one-on-one -on -one coaching, we trust the process of how to do that. We're not trying to fix the team, the marriage, the business partnership. We're, we're wanting to help them see themselves, you know, their strengths, their challenges and opportunities, and then, and then help bring them into action around that. Boy, that's... And there's also some, a bit of conflict work that can happen okay. in this kind of work as you can imagine too so being comfortable with that i see so if you identify uh conflicts within the system whether you can highlight that and bring that to 
uh, so you can work on it. Yeah. Well, that. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. But really, they work on it. But, yeah, they work on it. That's right. But, That's what yeah. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> they, the participants work on it. Yeah. So, how have you applied this work yourself in, in some of your coaching? Sure. Well, like I said, when when I with my first exposure way back when seven years ago or something like that, I took it and ran and huh. and I was already having uh, some work with teams and. I said, why don't I try this? Why don't I try that? And, you know, I'm definitely one of those coaches that when I learn something, I'm not looking to be, get a PhD in it, right? I'm like, okay, yeah. this is good. I, I think I got it. I'm willing to play with it and experiment and get out there. And that's exactly what I did. So as I've taken the even the fundamentals a few times, I get little nuances from the different instructors and then try other ways and, and improve on the ones that I'm actually using. Yeah. But it's it's very interesting and very powerful, and in mm -hmm. fact, it's actually gotten me more paid work uh -huh. just from knowing that I have tools to help uh, groups and teams and relationships with their problems. Yeah, well, that's that's very powerful, isn't it? For especially when you're doing group and team work uh, to help them to see themselves from kind of look at themselves from the outside. So that sounds really exciting, and and I love the idea that it's very practical. Yeah, you know, that's something that that we can take away and put uh, straight into it. So what would you like to have the participants on the, the uh, November 14th when we have our monthly meeting, what would you like them thinking and saying and feeling and doing as a result of having attended the, the session? Well, so during the session, I'd love for people to come in with a spirit of openness and play and just really considering Hey, this is practice. It's practice in front of colleagues because we're going to do a couple things and there'll be opportunities to try some of these tools and, and mess great. them up and no one's going to get hurt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great. Oh, and then good. go back. And then from that, really leaving with, hey, I have a couple tools that, that I can use now. Where yeah. can I apply these and continue the practice? And hey, if people are interested in learning more, yeah. I mean, it's nothing I, I teach. I'm just going to be given a teaser, um, but I'm looking to keep uh, that relationship going with, with Center for Re Right Relationships and have yeah. them continuing to come out to Denver and, and provide the training. Boy, that sounds so intriguing. And uh, I can't wait to get the uh, chance to uh, practice, which we love to do on these things, and then, and then take away one or two tools. What might be a tool that uh, could you give it a name to it, or do you want to wait until we get there to find out what these tools are? I can say what the two tools are. Okay. Uh, I won't go into detail, though. No. One of them is called uh, Working with the Third Entity. Okay. Which I'll just say that. And then the okay. other is doing, uh, co it's called Constellating the System. And I uh -huh. have a feeling some of our coaches, especially from a psychology perspective, et cetera, might have have some familiarity with this. I bet that we're going to be doing it a little bit differently, though. I bet we are. And uh, knowing <laughs> you, Chris, I'm sure we are. Uh, well, thank you so much for, for taking the time to share this. We'll, we'll get it out there so people can uh, can hear what's going to be going on and, and, and perhaps even invite one or two of their friends that would like to come along and hear hear Chris and, 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 and really experience something which will be quite life changing. And, and we can have some good takeaways to make our coaching practice in our life even better. So, Chris, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Joe. Bye. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.